Welcome everyone to the HWBot World Tour 2016. I'm Trufman from Overclocking TV. This is Lee Goft and we'll be commenting for you the final of the Master Overclocking Arena 2016 here at the HWBot World Tour Europe. It's been a great day so far. We had the final and the semi-final and final for the amateur of the MSI OC Academy. And uh, that was interesting to see some of the uh, new amateur fighting. And right now, in the next few minutes, we'll be commenting live on the final against Dan Kopp, currently number one in the world on HW bot ranking against Bull Shooter. These two guys are from Germany. What do you expect from this match, Ligov? Well, it's a German clash anyway, and, and we already had like a special last minute prize now that went on and so we you guys can win an msi z178 gaming pro carbon motherboard if you can predict the winner of this final so pretty good looking motherboard it's the same motherboard that has been used at the of during the amateur competition Indeed. it's not one of the used boards i think it's a brand new one Indeed. this is this the one of the brand new one and in case uh, anybody has it's a, it's a quite good day. You have a, a lot of uh, stuff on it, LEDs and so on. Uh, shipping worldwide, we'll make sure that everyone can participate. We don't want to limit that just to friends. So if you want to win one of these, uh, actually, if you want to win this board, the Z170A Gaming Pro Carbon, you can just go on the live chat on Twitch and type exclamation mark raffle and the name of your favorite or do you, th do you think you will win it is that Dan Cop or Bull Shooter? that it is yeah so it's currently a german let's say a gathering here between dan Kopp, number one current number one at hw bot at the ranking and we got just assigned by the head admin or judge how you want to call him mr massman that we have to get a move on so they want to start let's look at what we can have let's make sure that we can hear peter peter can you hear us no we can't hear you peter hmm uh no oh, peter we can't hear you okay turn turn uh, turn it off and on <laughs> have you tried to turn it off and on again ah oh, i yeah. heard something yeah, yeah, i heard yeah. something can you hear me yes okay so peter please better. please go on with the video of the benchmark all right so just like in all the other matches before six benchmarks reference clock w prime center bench three mark 11 xu and gpu pi you have each one veto if you don't like the benchmark, you can vote it away. So let's get the benchmark name. It's a uh, three mark eleven physics. Good, good. All right, cool. Uh, let's go with three mark eleven physics then. We didn't had any veto at all for this HWBot World Series so far. It's quite interesting, no? Yeah, indeed. Uh, they're like pretty both confident guys. Like Bullshitter has the advantage. It's like the the fastest CPU during the entire session, in fact. But we were, we were actually um, discussing about that in the previous games, that if there has to be 3D Mark 11 physics, Dankov would have vetoed it. But it, it didn't in the end, because Bullshitter have a very strong CPU uh, for, for this benchmark, and he knows that Bullshitter did a better score than him at this specific benchmark before. Yeah, indeed, but still Dankov had like pretty good efficiency for the CPU speed he had, so he had right good timings on, on the memory and stuff like that. Imagine if they like drew like... W prime 32, which is like fully, fully, fully CPU dependent. If it's not, uh, if, if that was the, let's say the the benchmark, and they still want so to start again. The overclockers are ready. Let's uh, let's go, Peter. You will be giving the mark for the start. Okay, you guys. Yep, yep. Three, two, one, go. So, uh, and we're off. There's a little technical issue indeed for Dan Cop, so uh, he has some issues booting into the US at the moment. So he's still like 30 minutes to get that fixed. So uh, I don't know what he will do. <laughs> like, I'm not even trying. <laughs> Bullshooter going straight into the action and cooling down. Daniel has to figure out why his SSD... It's detected, in fact, by the motherboard, but it, it, it doesn't load the OS, so always go straight back into the BIOS. Yeah, for the W Prime thing before we were interrupted by a mass man, it's fully dependent on raw, raw, raw CPU megahertz. So it doesn't matter how you dial in the memory, 1600 megahertz, 4000 megahertz, it does not scale. It's just a run based on pure CPU speed. Bullshooter already in the OS. Maybe we should tell Dankop that people are cheering him on so he at least can do like an effort. Go, 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 Daniel. 
Is he even trying? And he'll try something. People are... Yeah. You try to completely clear the seamless and everything. Did you try the uh, another SSD? Did you try another SSD as well? So it seems like we will have a, a one man final <laughs> on this one. So Bullshit on the screen is going down um is going down directly to his um temperature on the CPU. So that's why you, we were expanding at the semi-final as well. You go to the BIOS, you boot the system to make sure it's started, then you go down. Uh, the reason for this is the overclockers have to start with the system above zero degrees when they do it. Indeed. That's, 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 you can't, like say, boot full pot. Many of those CPUs, they just have like a, a cold boot bug, like we, we call it. So the, the, the system is not able to boot at a certain degree. So most CPUs that we saw this week was like minus 150, minus 160. Dancop had like a pretty good one, like minus 175 or something. He could still boot. So yeah, that's that's something that they will avoid. So they will cool down minus 100-ish, boot like at 5 gigahertz into the OS. In the OS, like load a profile via the software, the core center light, and then go full pot, apply the, the modifications, and hopefully the CPU can run full pot at a certain frequency. Maybe we should add a challenge for, for Bull Shooter. He should do it like a target score or something. Could we do that one to make it a little bit more interesting? Oh my god, that is actually crazy because he managed to end up in the in the left. But that's the thing. That, that's that's the thing. They have no replacement parts except if they were using their own board. So only one board was provided to them. They could have uh, one of their own if they wanted. But as um, we were discussing just before um, going live while the internet was down, um, you don't have the time in 30 minutes to just do the modification on the board, insulate everything, remount everything, and that's it. It's it's over. Yeah. He's still trying to to get the the system uh, the system pass. Yeah, I saw him before the the final started also blowing on the SATA ports with the heat gun, just maybe thinking there was like still some condensation going on, but probably something is is damaged, and and no matter the port that he selects, yeah, it's nothing to do. <laughs> Guys on the live chat, don't forget we have uh, we're running a, <laughs> a raffle for <laughs> who can uh, find out we, we predict the score of this final. I think it's <laughs> and sales this raffle Danko. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> really, uh, really has to be applauded that they still like stand behind their number one top German overclocker. And let's yeah. focus on our only contestant that is able to go into the windows by now is Bull Scooter. Running to the Mac 11 physics, 45 FPS, uh, so the score should be about 15k. See if we can maybe match already his score. That's yeah. 15k, Spot on. straight on it. So 15082 points. So at, so at the moment he's like the virtual winner because he needed a score as well. And Bullshooter is taking the lead with 25 minutes right. left in these competitions. By far, this is a nice improvement on the previous score I did in the semi-final. This is a huge lead against Dan Cobb because Dan Cobb still haven't submit any score and I don't think he will ever submit one for this final. I really hope he can get it done. Maybe he can like, un unmount the CPU again. I don't know. It's too bad that Daniel didn't check like if the, the setup was like fully running again when he tried it up. So, yeah. This can happen. So we discussed a lot that nothing broke down usually when overclocking. Now we're having like the opposite, of course. And it's something that I haven't experienced much, in fact, that you, you lo lose like SATA ports or even break SSDs. That's XA speciality. Yeah, that's uh, usually XA doing that. XA can, can kill SSDs when overclocking the CPU. So pretty, pretty nice stuff. Well, let's see the score. Can you do better? Yeah, it's the 16K! A 1,000 point improvement uh, compared to his previous score. Uh, quite impressive improvement here. And I will uh, continue on commenting what Bullshooter is doing because yeah. Dan Cobb is unmounting the system, maybe trying to dry up uh, everything. That is so sad. He will uh, not get the system uh, completely dis But that's the thing. 30 minutes and there's already 30. only 24 left. 
Yeah, and indeed, the, the, the issue is you don't have time to like replace the motherboard right now. It, it, it takes you like way too much time to unmount. You have to use the same CPU. Maybe the CPU is like broken internally. If they pop in another CPU, it could work. So how, how to figure things out? And you don't have time. You can't match a guy who's like running straight at 6,100 megahertz and, and beat him. You already have the disadvantage of a, let's say, lesser performing CPU. <laughs> how can you make up? <laughs> Absolutely not. But of course, I, I also think for bullshit that it's not like... Okay, you can take home the cash prize, but you didn't have like any competition, so I don't know. <laughs> That's why he's smiling all the way. So let's see, it was at 16k before, 16.7k. This is great. Uh, it's at 6.2 gigahertz right now, and uh, I'm pretty sure he will start again and continue to improve his score because no, it's it's not like if if Dan Cobb managed to boot up and get a score, he might be able to still get better than that. Yeah, I think Dankop didn't breach 17k, so Bullshooter has didn't done that before. So if his CPU is still happy running, like like say the same frequencies as before, he will breach those 17k again, which is like pretty pretty impressive stuff. There we go, 62 by 101 in base clock, so he's improving a little bit. Maybe we'll hit 17k in that run. Yeah, too bad. To, to put a bit like some one of the most interesting finals maybe for, for, for today, in fact. Everybody was looking out to this and, and or looking forward to this and now we have this. They're, they're going to check what's... And the bowler bowling, crashing the temples. You can see it's still going, the frames 400. 470. Oh, oh, and it's a crash it and it freeze. It freeze. This is so impressive that he might not be able to finish the final. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, we oh. almost saw the blue screen. Oh, blue screen! screen! <laughs> hey, bye. At least it, g it gives us something to watch. That's fun. I, ca I can do that all. I can do that <laughs> for the next 20 minutes, man. No problem. Maybe you can bench some 2D or something else. I don't know. <laughs> just to entertain us. Just to show what the board is worth. Yeah, too bad. Damn. I was really so you can see that Jankop is actually checking the CPU. Is there something wrong with the CPU? Is there something wrong with the circuit? Yeah, maybe they could just pop in like another one, not to participate, but just to determine like what has been going wrong. Is there like a false contact? Maybe something in the socket? I think also for Dan Cup, not really the, the way he wants to. It's not his title, but he's still number one overclocker. And then you have to give, give it away like this. No fun at all. So in French, it's called the Strumpf screen. The Strumpf screen would be super difficult to say. The Strumpf screen? Strumpf screen? <laughs> The Smurf screen? The Smurf screen? But, <laughs> but as you can see, Bull Shooter taking his time to re-eat his setup before going for the next uh, try to improve his score of 16,721 points. You can see Imagine that, that, that it would boot now. Then there's that, maybe that, would be, that would be perfect. At least we would have something. Because basically what Dan Cup have to do now is just detect the SSD to at least enter into bit a score in this final. Indeed, before he heated up the SATA ports and they changed SATA cable, they changed SSDs. In a certain moment, the board saw, detected the two SSDs. But as soon as it wanted to boot from them, it went straight into the BIOS. So it's, nah, he's like, I think it's game over, yeah. It's not game over until it's over. There's still 20 minutes and 30 seconds left in this final of the Edge of Rebot World Series here. That's called the MSI Master Overclocking Arena 26 in Europe. Um, of course, uh, this kind of event will not be possible without the partners. Uh, let's talk about uh, MSI being the title partner for this event. But thank the HW Bot World Series with the Master of Overclocking Arena for the Extreme and the MSI OC Academy for the Amateur. We will add Systonic, a long partner for the Complete World Tour this year. They are providing all the PSUs. We have Clev that is providing the memory. Clev is a, a memory manufacturer from Korea. We are, yeah. And there's also our uh, other partners that we need to. Uh, to keep in mind, we have OCTV, of course, that's why we are here. We have Overclock.net, one of the biggest uh, forums regarding overclocking. And Techmundo, the biggest IT portal in Brazil that is partnering with us since the first stop of the World Tour. We also have uh, OC Esports and Computex, Tetra, the organizer of Computex. You will understand why, because we are doing the final during the same week as Computex. And there's a lot of big news coming for early June uh, about all that. And of course, Stricom, Stricom, our manufacturing partner for the um, 
open bench table that is the special bench table that the amateur were using just before and we were giving away there's only 12 prototypes in the world for this um, bench table so far actually there's 14 there's 12 plus 2, two yeah. but there's only uh, 12 uh, prototype available uh, to, to to be given away for the winner of this uh, competition as you can yeah, see bull shooter is back he's going for it see what gives that's it, no signal. He's oh, coming. we have signal. We can see the balls. The ball is oh. bowling. Oh, FPS going up. Up, 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 up. 17k, 17, 17. 10, 11. So, will we have a score? What? What's the score? Should think it's a little bit Get lower. Hitting. 16, 3, He's probably just testing if the CPU is, hasn't cracked, so the TIM hasn't cracked, and if it can run again frequencies, it will probably go a little bit higher further on. He's currently at 6.265. We'll try to go 0.2 base clock higher. He's almost at 2 volts. <laughs> yeah. Come on, you can push it. You can go higher than that. We want 17k again, Frank. No 17k, no go home. <laughs> <laughs> Should be possible. <laughs> you did it before. So here we go. The ball is bowling. Boom! Okay, next one. <laughs> we should have sound, no? With, with that benchmark. Uh, we will do the sound by ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at the score. And then 16800. Oh, not bad. It's not bad. You can. If it does 0.2 increase again, it might be able right, to uh, to break the 17k. Keep on pushing it, indeed. If you guys have any questions on what you're seeing, you're not seeing a lot at this moment, okay? But just just give us a, a yell on, on Twitch, what, and maybe you can reply to a few questions. Let us know, guys, uh, where you're tuning from as well. We have transmit an event that says Stand Cup looks so dejected. Yes. Yes, of course. I mean, he, tra he traveled all the way from Germany to here for the for the world tour, and then so frustrating to just be at this top level and then nothing, nothing you can do. Now, is there anything in the rules? Does he have to submit a score? He already accessed the final, so uh, it will be second. Yeah. Oh, and it crashed. Sadly, it crashed on the screen of Bull Shooter, but so it's it's okay. He still has 16 minutes to improve his score by at least one point for us to see it. But in fact, it's the golden ride. It's a, they, these two guys are in the same car, so they can share the prizes. So I think they will not be that unhappy, of course. But I think anyway, Daniel wanted to defend his number one spot at this moment and, and just give Bull a run for the money. But apparently it's not going to work and, and they can swap SSDs as much as they like. Maybe try other PSU cables. I don't think it will, will fix anything. Something is really bad at that at the hardware level but that's part of the game it's it's not part it's it's part of the game too well you have to come prepare come with your setup prepared and that's what happened when you don't plan on having backups or when you don't no when you don't know what's uh, what would be happening no, that's the thing never flash a new bios before a competition always prepare your os before a competition Always make sure everything is fine. So you will see Dan Cup unmounting his system because he doesn't he doesn't understand how get it. I'm pretty sure that's something. It will dry everything up and it will work. Uh, Stibu Dudu, I don't know what it's called. I can't I see can. anything at least. Yeah, of course not because uh, Bull Shooter is warming up the setup again. So he crashed. So now the issue is they went like full pot, which is one. Minus 196 degrees. Now it has to heat up till minus 150 till the setup boots again. You will see a screen soon. And afterwards he can cool down again. So that's what we call the cold boot bug. At a certain temperature the CPU will no longer allow the system to post. So you have to heat up. If you reach a certain temperature it will post again. There will be image soon. <laughs> like transmit and even say on the live just a few seconds ago. Uh, <laughs> Dan Cup were giving away his milk tray of LN2 bottles. It's like here. I have my Ellen to my friend, you can go on. It's yeah. pretty safe. Yeah. What can we say? Not what we really expected it to be, but it's it's like it is. It's like you said, you don't have like replacement stuff. Some some competitions do have like a spare board or something, but you can't do it all now. It's too late. Maybe if they had like a spare board prepared 
for the competition, like the, the guys at the Formula One, which have the spare car, it could have been possible, but now it's... They do have a spare car in Formula One, so if they, if they crash one, even during the race, they can change the car? I don't know. That. I don't think they can change the car uh, change if the they car crash in, during in, the race. In the, in the they, race, no. They can if they do in the qualifier. Yeah. They have the, the, the spare car after, but they I don't think that if they crash in the race, it's out. That's the same here. If you burn everything that is not burned, or if you have a big issue that doesn't let you compete, that's it, you're out to bat. That's part of the game. Indeed. The bull shooter is back in the OS at 5.4 gigahertz. He will try to uh, improve that. Okay, come on, push it. Oh, come oh, on, come push on. it over two volts. <laughs> like 198. <laughs> push it over two volts. You don't risk anything. Yeah! <laughs> the magical two. <laughs> <laughs> That's just a mental burst. Like, I can put like 1.9999. It's not two volts, so it's still fine. Yeah. 61 or 62 that's actually impressive he can match the the ring ratio that's ring what you were telling just before him that's that's really insane everybody like most overclockers have like at least one or two multipliers less so indeed he has like a cpu that could do high clocks high on core so that's the golden the golden one that you must have to Let's really see. perform in all benchmarks it doesn't matter what which one it always helps 13 minutes left in this final of the Master of Overclocking Arena here at the Edge of Robot World to Europe. I think the MSI engineers want to have a look at the board of them. Right? I'm pretty sure they will have. I think it will stay in France and they will send it to uh, their local headquarters and, and just the have a look. The benchmark is running. Run. The expectation, the expectation are, are high. What can we get from this? Oh, it's actually oh, the oh, VFS oh, is quite high. Oh, oh, so the VFS is quite high. This one is going all the way through it. No crash so far. Is it enough? That's just good enough. Yeah. Crash or no crash? Crash or no crash? Oh! oh! Close, but no cigar. Still under 17k. He need to push it a little bit more. 1600. 16,844. Put 5. Go. Oh! 6! Oh, Going for it. <laughs> He's smiling, he's smiling. Because he's, he's a little bit hero. dyslexic, so he, yeah. he, 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 he put the 6, so might work. He, he puts like a little bit more voltage, so let's see. He needs to do 17k. Keep his folks at home entertained. So as, as we didn't have the, the sound on the benchmark. Oh, oh there's, no <laughs> there's no sound. <laughs> there's, there's no, no sound. sound needed. No need. No, no need. need. No sound, no need. <laughs> can see <laughs> Dan Cup is completely fed up. He's so no rejected for that. Yeah, the, 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 the thing is, he's lucky he can go to Computex so he can join us again at the Asia Tour. Then, sure, that's gonna be happening the first week of June, but and also the competition is pretty stiff there. So, not, that's, not... The, the, that's it. Europe and Computex will be the, the two biggest uh, qualifier for sure because most of the top overclockers are from Europe and they will all travel to Computex as well and Bull Shooter was not one of the of the leader in the scoreboard before this event this is completely we were more about Dan Cop or XA or, or some of the of the main guys that, that did attend like the Bruno from Romania as well they, these guys had a huge um, advance in the score and in the ranking uh, overall, and they were not expected to have Bull Shooter in the final today. And he will uh, obviously win for this one. Indeed. That will put, uh, make it also crime a little bit in, in the ranking. And that's one thing that Frank has always like really focused about, like hardware ranking and, and his personal ranking as well. So he will, yeah, he will not gain only the money, but also will climb up the ladder again. And also puts less stress for him to go to Computex. He also will join us at Computex, so he can do like freestyling. Or maybe just practice against the other guys. I don't know what they can do. But I think one guy that also wants to really perform now is XA. I think he's not really happy that he didn't even make it to, to a semi-final. To a semi-final level. That's really that is also totally unexpected normally. Because he performed very, 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 very well during the qualifier on an unknown board, in fact. <laughs> Woody's gonna ask us, does changing our raffle vote works? The answer is no. nope. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to do about it. 
So don't forget guys, you are, we are giving away a Z170A motherboard gaming pro carbon from MSI. The only thing you have to type is tell us who you think will win this final. <laughs> is that bull shooter or, or that gun? Or would you say bull shooter again? No, <laughs> you can decide between bull shooter or bull shooter. <laughs> if you want to participate, you just go to the live chat, you type exclamation mark raffle and the name either bull shooter or bull shooter. Bull shooter. <laughs> I hope they type it right. We also have people <laughs> like like and oh, yeah, the yeah. raffle. Yeah, actually, if there is typo in the name, it doesn't count. So it has to be the right name and the right autograph for it. Bull shooter restarting the system. Dan Cup looking at the system. Yeah. That's pretty what? much that's pretty much what he can do at maximum. Why is why is it happening to me now? Right now, this moment, like why please please why was this like this you can see it's like damn the the trip back home would be so long especially with bull shooters like hey, hey i won against oh, you. Well, you yeah you're <laughs> pro I'm, I'm just yeah benching at home yeah it will be a long long drive back but okay it's not that you can do about it it's like definitely i want to see the i want to have a camera in the car all the way back you can mount the gopro which is like <laughs> right in front of us in their cam and just Press start when they when they leave. So, <laughs> but they also didn't sleep like during the entire night. They were like constantly testing and and, and doing stuff. I think bullshit would like slept one hour. Yeah, that, that's actually one crazy. hour. That's it. On, <laughs> it's on a crazy chair, because on a we chair. have we have a lot of history about overclockers not sleeping well the night before a competition and performing. And if we had to do the statistics, I think that the less you sleep, the better you perform. That Indeed. is completely retarded in the way to calculate, but I'm pretty sure that's what could happen. Indeed. So less than 7 minutes 30 to go. <laughs> Bullshit are still not nailing the 17k. Yeah, the, that leaves uh, some uh, Chit Chen Tinox on the live chat says long minutes for Dan Cop. Yes, you have to <laughs> stay here until the end of the round, no choice. And uh, the DWS6969 says Bullshitter has to buy dinner the whole way home. Yeah, I think you're gonna have to pay for the gas as well because it will. Uh, but that's the thing; both of them will still get cash prize. Yeah. So, bull shooter, if it's if it turns out he's the winner in less than seven minutes from now, it will go back home with 2,500 USD, and Dan Cup will go back home with 1,500. So, so that's pretty, it's still worth okay. something. It's still second. It's not like out of the game. Indeed, I, I think I think both their wives will be very happy when they come home. Like, uh, we've been ho away from home now for almost four days. But if you come home, like, with $2,500, is it US dollars or euros? I don't uh, know. USD. 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 So, yeah, pretty, pretty nice. Can, can you beat if Dan Cup will go back home? It's like, I failed so hard that I didn't even submit the score in the final and I still won't cash. Win, 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 win. They do win cash, but they do also win some, um, some hardware as well. And they have, so, so for the first place, uh, what is uh, given away is the ticket to the HWO World Championship. So that means Bull Shooter is in the lead to get this ticket. Uh, there's not much competition, to be honest, from Danko. Um, yeah. th that's going to be a ticket to the HWO World Championship in to happen in Germany. So that's going that's that's to be that, like pretty much next door. <laughs> a cheap ticket, cheap ticket. Two hour drive, three hour drive, maybe. That's it. 2500 USD. Uh, as cash price, a Seasonic Platinum P760 power supply, uh, MSI Gaming Z170A X Power Gaming Titanium Edition. That's the exact same board they're using right now. A uh, Clev Crass Memory Kit, so the DDR4 uh, memory from Clev. A Stricom BC1 Special HWT2016 Edition Bench Table. And this Bench Table is something completely new that we unveiled this weekend. If you want to have more information about this, you can go on openbenchtable.com and have all the information. Finally, Bullshooter is back in the system and it will be benching soon. Let's do the commentary for this awesome benchmark. To the sound. No signal. Dun. 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 Ah, everything is breaking down. Actually, the FPS is quite high, so the score might be good. Let's see for the score. The IP is strong. The IP is strong for the score. And oh, oh, almost 17k, 16.9. Getting close, getting close. He can still do it. He has like less than five minutes to go. Come on, Frank. Four minutes, 34 seconds left. Go. 101.5. Not 25. 
It seems like 6.2 is the maximum you can do with the CPU. Still very impressive though. It does it each time over and over again. So pretty nice hardware to play with. Maybe Bullshooter will give the motherboard to tank up. I don't know. <laughs> oh. oh, and it crashed right away. Yeah, Sadly. I, th I think we had it. The second place of the Master Overclocking Arena 26 in Europe. We'll go back home with... And it's a blue screen! <laughs> the second place... So actually, that cup will go back home with 1500 USD. In cash price, the Seasonic PSU 760 Watt and uh, MSI Gaming Z170 X Power Gaming Titanium Edition motherboard. Uh, the third place, and that was this Julio. Yep. He's going back home with 1000 USD in cash price, Seasonic Platinum P760 uh, power supply, the same as the other guys, and a Clev Crass Memory Kit DDR4, of course. So, again, like I said before, like they take the, like we call it the podium, the 1, 2, 3 spots. Everybody expected Dancom at least to be there. Nobody thought about Bull Shooter. I also think nobody thought about Zolio. And those guys, like, they're the surprise of the weekend. In fact, that they were like, already on the roll. They did good during the qualifiers. Surprises, really, at, at the quarterfinals. Like, uh, we directly saw who had the best CPUs. That was indeed Zolio and uh, Bull Shooter. Dan Kopp, in fact, are current number one. The guy who is not participating at the moment due to hardware failure. And we just uh, put like uh, the wireless headset on, on Daniel and maybe he can give us some inside information what is going on exactly or what could have been the issue with his motherboard. As, as you've seen... Yeah. Uh, yeah, as you've seen, uh, nothing is going on because... Um, <laughs> The, the board does recognize the SSD, but it doesn't boot from it. So I've never seen that issue before. I have no idea what it could be. We've tried a lot of SSDs, a lot of uh, ports, a lot of uh, memory uh, modules, stacking, whatever. I, I, we, we also tried another CPU. I have no idea what it is. Two PSUs, whatever. Just too much. I don't hear you, too. Oh, well, yeah, actually, you could not hear me, does it? Uh, is there a jumper on the motherboard that goes straight into the BIOS? No. Nope. That, that could have been nope. uh, locked in this? No, definitely not. Uh, we, or maybe we... it's a special feature we don't know yet. <laughs> yeah, it might be. Uh, but uh, I've also tried to press it, uh, F11 um, to, to uh, choose one of the SSDs we've tried, and even then it doesn't boot. So the, the motherboard start, but it just don't um, uh, boot from the uh, from the SSD. Yeah, although the SSD is recognized. So did, did you try to boot from USB? No, I don't have any OS on the USB. Too bad then. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> personal bad luck. And there's less than one minute. Do you think you can uh, catch up with the score from Bullshooter, or this is completely over? Ah. <laughs> uh, to be honest, I, I don't think I would have catched him. So he's a true winner. That's that's oh, a nice. that's a good fair play indeed. Yeah. And that's fun that he's still benching. So let's do the commentary. It's ah, everything is breaking. Oh, oh and it crashed. Oh, it crashed again. Almost there. Ah, uh, he, he has no more time for the final run. And there is uh, 20 seconds left. Uh, Dan Cup, can you give the headset to Peter, please? Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. Blue, Blue screen! He is really a true winner. He has, he has done one. it all. And, and it's, it's over. Uh, over. This is over. This is the end. Bull shooter without any problem is the winner of the HWBOT World Series here in Europe 2016, the Master Overclocking Arena 2016 Europe. is the winner of this HWS. He's going back home with some cash, 2500K, 25, uh, 2500 USD. And of course, he uh, is uh, helping 
like big smile on the face of the two guys because they, Dan Cobb knew he could not put any scores out in yeah. this match. It would have really been a surprise if Danka could really make up for those, let's say, 200, 240-ish megahertz that he was lacking. So, well done, Frank. You still have to do it. Even if you have good hardware, you still have should be able to That's the thing. You can have it. the best system ever in the world. You still have to perform there during the 30 minutes uh, time frame that you have. No, you Indeed. don't have the choice. So that's it. Bullshooter is the winner of this uh, Master of Overclocking Arena Europe 2016 here at the HWBot World Tour. And uh, our friends Dan Kopp, from, they are both from Germany. Uh, Dan Kopp is the second. He's currently number one in the world, but second here at the HWBot World Tour at uh, the Master of Overclocking Arena competition. Yeah, you can't win it all, but I think Daniel will do some serious preparation for June. Indeed. You can and really bet bet your ass on it. He will probably do the same as he did before, like you guys with the South Africa. You still have the Canada event, LAN ETS before. We have the Canada event in three weeks from now, uh, the third weekend of April. So that will be in uh, yeah three weeks from now. I think he will be benching when you guys do the stream. He will do similar stuff. I don't know who is the sponsor already for Canada. Is that already announced? Uh, we will have to let Peter announce everything for that. Uh, guys, the third person is Zizulio from Denmark. He's, uh, actually, he had to catch up a train, so he's actually already... <laughs> yeah, he should he should be up approximately on the train now. <laughs> and uh, yes, there's Transmed and even on the live chat here on Twitch that says, Dan Cobb said Bullshooter had a better chip. He wasn't kidding. Indeed, Bullshooter had an insane chip, to be honest. Uh, the chip were not... Uh, they were just end over to them just yesterday evening. So they just had the overnight to test. So it was a choice. Either you test them overnight and you sleep less, or <laughs> you just don't test them at all and you get a good night of sleep. Well, they all went for, I will test everything I can until like 3 a.m. Yeah. And then they all went to bed. Indeed, yeah. Dan Kopp still performed well. He did quite good efficiency and still managed to get in the final, even with the least performing CPU. So all credits to him as well. So... But well this, deserved second spot. And this is a proof that even if you don't have the best hardware in the world, you can still compete at a very high level. Indeed. That is that is quite a, a revelation for most of the people that says, oh, I don't have the best CPU, so I cannot compete. No, it's not true. It's no, not you, true. you can always tweak, 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 and, and look for, for special stuff. Some some people also that have good hardware, they don't look for efficiency. They know I can beat that guy's score with two or 300 megahertz less efficiency, no need. But... Even if they had like an efficiency, a higher efficiency, they could do like a way better score. So it's a combination of both always. But okay, the final is over. We have a winner. So let's talk about another winner. We'll do a complete uh, live raffle now. So from the live chat, we ask you to go on the live chat, type exclamation mark raffle and select one of the... Uh, no, who was your predictive winner of this round? Some of you say Dan Cup. Some of you say bullshooter. Let's face it, if you say Dan Cup, it's over for you. <laughs> it won't work. So, the raffle is now closed. Let's draw someone to win this motherboard. I'll so, keep the motherboard. People will see less of my face. Might be better. The first one to there, the answer is... His answer is Bullshooter, so we have a winner, and his name is Hendrik underscore. So Hendrik underscore, congratulations to you. You won this beauty, the Z170A Gaming Pro Carbon from MSI. Congratulations. Uh, we'll uh, contact you on, the, on Twitch. We'll send you a PM to have all your information uh, right there, so don't worry. Uh, that will be done um, later on tonight. We have to finish up, uh, packing up the stream and everything. We will have the award ceremony in the next uh, few minutes. Uh, during that time, uh, don't forget, you can always go on our website to win some awesome prizes. If you didn't add this one, you can win a Seasonic PSU P1000 power supply from Seasonic Platinum Series as well. One of the MSI Z170X Power Gaming Titanium Edition, the exact same one they were using today for the Extreme Final. One memory kit from Clev, a DDR3 2 times 4 gigabyte Faker Edition. And that's uh, still a weird name, no? Yeah, I don't. I don't <laughs> I don't know where they choose that name. Maybe that's the maybe that's the family name of someone doing the the design of the research yeah. development. And one of the three lasting thermal flask collector from HWBot. If you want one, you can always go to overclocking-tv.com forward slash raffle, and the raffle will be announced. The raffle will be announced in the next few days. 